What's up, everybody uh, out there? So it's my last day of quarantine, and uh, because of that, to kind of celebrate that, uh, I'm bringing you part two of the quarantine Q&A. Uh, if you haven't seen part one yet, be sure to click in the top right corner of your screen right now, and there's going to be an iCard there that tells you that that will lead you to part one. So I have a couple of questions here, and then uh, I'm going to have a special guest answering one of them as well that can do a little better on one of them than I can give an answer for. So, uh, number one, Carlos asks, what was your first ever JBT Southwest experience like? Well, I was a JBT Southwest bowler. I toured uh, on, like, did every stop for New Mexico, Texas, I believe, for two or three, I think it was three seasons. Uh, and uh, my first ever experience was on April 19th and 20th, over the weekend, uh, in 2014. That was almost seven years ago. That sounds crazy. Uh, but yeah, so um, a little, a friend locally, uh, I don't even know who it was, had mentioned to me that there was going to be this tournament at South Plains Lanes, and I was like, hey, I'd love to go uh, down to my hometown. So I went ahead and went, uh, and I ended up in the handicap division, mind you, finishing 18th on April 19th, 2014, my first ever JBT Southwest tournament. Mason Edmondson won uh that tournament i don't know if you watch these mason but if you do congrats on your win seven years ago <laughs> i met tons of great like awesome people that i i just like that i still know today that i met at that very first jbt southwest tournament moving on kristen asks uh who is your favorite pro bowler of all time well you know it's kind of hard for me because growing up it was pete weber but recently I've had a little bit of a change. I don't know. Uh, it's too hard of a question for me to answer. There's so many really, really good pros out there. Uh, and so I just, I wish that I had a better answer for you. But I think, I think one of my favorite pros is definitely uh, Jason Couch, though. I don't really have a certain favorite right now uh, that I can say. But growing up, it was Pete Weber. So for the next question, Harry asked a really good question. Do you think that simply being left-handed is why that some people are good at bowling? Well, let's have a special guest answer that question. So for that, let's hear Jacob Buttruff has to say. Hi everybody, Jacob Buttruff here. Um, so the big talk about like being lefty or being righty is the fact that being left-handed, like we have our moments where we do do really well, but at the same time, there are moments where you know being left-handed isn't exactly the best thing. So best thing I can always say is that you know when the lefties are bowling really good, um, gotta take advantage of it. And when, when lefties aren't exactly doing too good, just kind of shake it off and just go to the next tournament. All right, so thanks, Jacob. That was a great answer, and I completely agree with him. Uh, you know, when the left isn't there, it's simply not there, and when it is, you got to take advantage of it. And so uh, I think that there's there's pluses and minuses and pros and cons to being both right-handed and left-handed at the same time. Question number four. If you could cross with any ideal bowlers at a PBA event, who would it be? So thank you to Steven for asking this. And I think that uh, my personal preference would be lefties. Once again, lefties seem to be the topic of uh, today's video a lot. If it's a four-person cross, then let's say uh, I've always wanted to meet Jesper Svensson, so that'd be really cool if I got to bowl with Jesper. Uh, let's go um, Jacob Buttruff on there, of course. And another lefty, probably Parker Bone III, because he's so incredibly, incredibly nice and talented and fun to watch that I just I feel like it'd be really cool and he would keep it really light for all of us I know Jesper and Jacob like to joke around a lot so it'd be really fun uh, so I think an ideal cross would be three lefties probably Jacob Buttruff uh, who we just saw Jesper Svensson and Parkham on the third so for the last question of the day question number five thank you to Fire K for asking this question on Twitter so are there any other balls that are coming out that I'm looking forward to from any company? Recently, my uh, college team, Auto University Bowling Teams, uh, signed with Motive Bowling. And I actually just got in my tank blitz. Uh, it needs to be drilled. I, I obviously have been stuck in this room, so I haven't been able to drill it, but I'm really excited to try it. 
And they just announced the purple tank, which I know uh, Fire came mentioned in it. Uh, you know, I really am interested in trying that purple tank in the future. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to go for it right now. Um, but I, it is something that I'm definitely uh, looking forward to if I can get my hands on one in the future. And look forward for a future comparison video between the two if I do end up getting a purple tank. And Brett Spangler, if you're watching this video and you would like to see a comparison between the purple hammer and purple tank, because if you think the purple tank is going to outdo the purple hammer, then you should send me one. Contact me on Twitter and uh, feel free to send me one and I will, I will make a video with my thoughts on that. And uh, I, will, uh, I will definitely look forward to that in the future. If I can get my hands on a purple tank, like I said, then I will totally, I'd totally be down to make a comparison video, compare and contrast the two and see which urethane that I think is best. So other than that, guys, there's our five questions for today. I want to thank everybody for their submissions, for the questions, for the Q&A today. And I'm so thankful uh, to Jacob Buttra for joining me today. And shout out to him for recording that response. I thought it was great. And uh, look forward to future Q&A videos. So uh, other than that, guys, have a great day. Be sure to subscribe below for future content. Like I said, leave a comment with anything. Uh, that you've been up to lately or any questions that you might have that I can answer for you uh, just in the comments below uh, and leave a like too if you like Jacob Buttriff because everybody likes Jacob Buttriff right really good lefty so other than that guys peace out